We set off to Peru for a mission trip. For this particular mission trip, we were in partnership with Christ Centered Youth. So far, we've done so much work with this group, and I believe that there will be many more of this nature. So, we've just arrived in Peru, and we are ready now to go to the church that we'll be ministering at. And we're looking forward to seeing what God wants to do. We arrived safe and sound in Peru, and we were ready to head on to the venue. Though we were running behind time, the people were waiting in anticipation for what God had to do. So the moment we got there, the atmosphere was already buzzing. There's a hunger that God himself is stirring in the hearts of young people. This generation has not been forgotten. God has something major in store for us. And in every place that we find ourselves going to for ministry, it is very evident that God himself is raising up an army to herald the message of Jesus Christ. And it is such a privilege to be part of that rising generation. Until you 
you are endued with power. Are we together? Anyone that is not feeling well in their bodies, if you have any pain of any sort, any sickness of any sort, if there is any such person, I want you to just lift up your hand. Jesus Christ took up our infirmities and he bore our pains. When he was nailed to that cross, every sickness, every disease was nailed also to that cross. All you need to do is to believe that he has already done it. My job here is not to heal you. It's to deliver what has already been paid for. Are we together? So if you are seated next to somebody that is in pain, I want you to put your hand on their shoulder. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, I declare over this atmosphere, I declare it a pain-free zone right now, in the name of Jesus. Every pain, every sickness, I command you now, in the name of Jesus, to leave, to go, right now, in the name of Jesus, you pain, you sickness, you migrate right now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to go. If the pain is gone, I want you to lift up both your hands. Anyone who's feeling better, lift up both your hands. Pray for you. Is there anyone who wants to testify? I just want two, two people. Please come.
pastor with you. I need that feeling. Can you just hold? Just, just hold the mic. Please, just hold the mic. Yes, thank you very much, Antika. Uh, what I want to say? Yes. That uh, you sons, you see far. Is it? I once said it to my youth one day. Was it Afmo? The city Vana, Tinoi Sapama Futi, they see far. But we old people, we got experience. Yes. Uh -huh. And we interpret. You see, uh -huh. we interpret what you see. So if you don't have enough to interpret what you see for you, otherwise you pay my job. Yes. Do you feel jealous? I have a record in heaven that I ministered with the fun. So it was finally done and it was time for us to head on back to our city. Having fulfilled our assignment, it was all joy and hugs. Having spent the night ministering Jesus Christ and showing the love of God to people, the goodbyes become very difficult. But we find peace in our hearts knowing that we have planted the seed that God sent us to plant and we've fostered the relationships that he has set in our way. So we will keep planting the seed of revival, one relationship at a time one place at a time until the whole Zimbabwe is filled with the knowledge of the glory of God.